Lake Mead is now three quarters empty. As of June 2022, the lake is only at 28% of its full capacity. The federal government is predicting that over the next two years, the lake could drop as much as another 30 feet. But at the rate it's going right now, it could actually wind up being more. I found the part of Lake Mead that has become famous over the last month or so, and that is this boat right here. So you guys probably have seen on Twitter, on Facebook, this boat sticking out of the water. Well, there used to be water around this boat. You guys can see I'm walking right now. This ground is soft. I mean, it, it moves when you walk. It's kind of like being in a real life video game when you're out here, but it's firm enough you guys can see that I'm walking on this. I'm six foot three and a little over 200 pounds, and this is holding me up right now. But you guys can see this boat sticking out of the water. or sticking out of the mud now because the water levels here at Lake Mead are about 1,045 feet. So they're down about 25 feet from a year ago and down about six feet just from a month ago. But when you guys were first seeing pictures of this boat, it was in water. It was so muddy over here, people couldn't even get close enough to actually touch it. But as you guys are seeing me right now do, I'm gonna be able to get close enough. As I get a little closer, it does sink more, but I can touch this boat. If you're right here in the back of it, in the front of it, you are gonna sink a bit. But you can get close enough now, the water line has receded enough that you can walk up and just touch this boat. This boat is probably sticking out of the water at least 20 feet. So when you see the pictures on Twitter, it doesn't really do it justice. Because when I stood here, even with my selfie stick extended, that's nine feet long, with my arms extended, I still couldn't reach the top of this thing. This boat is sticking out of the water big time. You still have debris in it. There's actually a small teddy bear that's been stuck in this boat for who knows how many years. At this point, the water level is so low that you could walk right up to this and you can put your hand on the steering wheel of this boat. That's what we're looking at with Lake Mead right now. So that's why there's all kinds of warnings and concerns. The U.S. government uh, declared a shortage, a drought, or a water shortage last year for the Colorado River, and we're just getting into the beginning of summer. So as summer continues, this water is going to get lower and lower. And if you look out here, so you see how shallow the water is coming out here. I would not be surprised if by the end of the summer, this little island we're looking at, right here, we can actually walk to it. That's how dry it might get and how low the water might get. Because this boat right now is probably about 30 feet from the water line. And it's just gonna keep getting lower and lower as the summer continues. Lake Mead provides water to about 25 million Americans in the southwest part of the country. And right now, the water levels are so low that five of the six launch ramps that people would normally use to put their boats out here in the lake are closed. Only one is open right now. It has to be shallow boats only, 24 feet or under. Even that, as the water levels continue to decline, they may close it completely and allow no boats out here on the water. Now, you guys can see the boat right over here sticking out of the mud. Now, just about a month ago, this was sticking out of water. The water has kept receding, receding. You can see how far down it is now. And as we get a better look here around the area, you can see different water lines. Certain parts of the lake, it's easier to see the water lines, but you can see them here. And this will give you a full view of what we're looking at as far as Lake Mead and the Colorado River right now. And this is the little island I was pointing to right here. This little island that some of the birds are landing on. At the end of this summer, with the way the water's going down, I don't know how deep it is right here, but either this point or maybe right over there, that level could get low enough and get shallow enough that we could just walk right out onto this island here. I mean, who knows as that water keeps going down, what other boats or bodies or whatever else they're gonna be finding here in this lake. And one of the real obvious signs that the water keeps going down is like how green all these plants are. So you can see these plants here have definitely had time to absorb water as the levels have been going down. And you see how the, the green and the plants keep getting smaller and smaller as the water line keeps receding. Oh, it was getting soft. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. footprints these are these look pretty recent so just who knows man today might be like this is very recently people are probably able to walk out this far to this boat wow I 
definitely been out here. Oh, look, here's one of the barrels. Oh, it's getting muddy. It's getting soft. Oh, man. Right here, you guys can see. Look at this cinder blocks the end of each of this. So who knows, maybe the mob cemented their feet in, put them in the barrel, and just threw them down here. And they let Lake Mead do the rest. I don't know how long this boat has been here. I'm sure you guys have seen the news, especially in the summertime, as the water level keeps getting lower, keeps seeing things like boats turn up here in the water area. This boat has got some trash that you can tell people have recently been out here, but it's also got a stuffed doll that used to like, obviously be uh, for a small child. But it's kind of soft right now, but you can walk out here as you guys are seeing. You can walk out here, you can see some of the green and the grass growing, and you can actually walk to these boats that have you know they're abandoned that have been able to be on dry land now because the water level has gotten so low give it a little more time this summer and we'll see how much farther you'll be able to walk out as the water levels just keep dropping it's obviously way more dry out here than i initially thought so i walk on this part there's a little bit of give you guys can see the cracks in the ground but it's a pretty easy walk now i see someone's been out here been driving through here as well so this boat, man, yep. It's probably been on land for a couple of weeks now, at least. Jeez. So, and there's the water line right there. I'm gonna guess we're, uh, not a hundred yards. Yeah, maybe from the water. I'll head over to this boat here. It's much more above ground. This one is upside down, but it's got so much mud around it, it's really in the ground pretty well. So walk through here, through all this green that I'm not used to walking through in Las Vegas. And also know guys, there's plenty of insects when you're out here at Lake Mead too. When you're like, more in town, the Vegas area, you don't get a lot of insects. But when you're out here at Lake Mead, you're by the water, you definitely will. Man. See where this is at. This is one of the early ones to show up on land. Definitely. So you got this one here, and you got another one uh, in the distance over there. So that had to be one of the first, possibly the first. This is probably the second. Unless there's others in different parts of the lake, but heck, I just imagine. You know, you can see the water lines on the rocks. This all used to be underwater <laughs> years ago. There's no way I'd be standing right here. This is what we're looking at today. I am officially done for the day out here at Lake Mead, but follow for more because you know there's gonna be a whole heck of a lot more news going on about Lake Mead here in Southern Nevada. This is news not just in the Southwest part of the country or across the US, but across the world. So follow for more. I think that Lake Mead has finally reached inactive pool. They say that inactive pool is below 1,050 foot of water. And the water level right now, according to that article six hours ago, is 1,044 foot. So we have officially dropped six foot below active pool, which means that the turbines or those big generating things can no longer pull in water to create electricity, which is insane. Now. What's up, everybody? Joey again, Vegas D-Tech. How the hell are you? Just got back from uh, 
uh, our little excursion out in Laughlin. Nice to be home. I'm thoroughly burnt up, man. I'm talking about from my throat down. I'm like a crawfish, dude. Just completely burnt. But anyways, man, the whole uh, point of this video here today is I wanted to uh, bring the, you know, the latest news that I found. And uh, when I got back, I found out that, you know, we, you know, guys, that we've been having a problem here with the water at Lake Mead. And uh, when I was over in Laughlin, I noticed how the dam opens up and closes at a certain time of the day. And the water at that, at that, at that river can go from being peaceful and placid, like hardly any movement at all, to a point that when they open up the dam and they allow the river to flow, it's like a torrent, bro. When you get in there, you get up to your waist and literally you can't bend down to go underwater for any reason because the current will just sweep you away. And that's just how strong it is when they open up the uh, spillways. Well, Vegas right now, the dam has levels, okay? You got full pool, you got inactive pool, and then you have dead pool, right? So just like looking down here at this, at this little creek right here, Lake Mead is still able to allow enough water to spill past it to flow down into Mojave. And then from Mojave, it flows down into Havasu. Today, I find out that we are below, in, we are below active pool. And what that, what that means is that the generators, the turbines can no longer uh, provide electricity. Now, Las Vegas uses about 36% of the power from those generators in the, in the dams. And uh, inactive pool, this is anything below what, 1,050? And we're at 1,040 right now. So active pool, no more. So the generators aren't producing power. However, the spillways are allowing water to flow down. So I know that the city's blows are still getting water. Once it gets down to below 900, it'll be just called dead pool. And dead pool is a water puddle, which means that the lake will no longer even be able to allow water to come out of it in order to get down to the people below us in Arizona and California. So I don't have any idea what's going on, how this is gonna play out now. But as far as fireworks, stepping back to it, um, yeah man, I don't, I've never really noticed the situation with the water here in Las Vegas, but it's getting pretty serious, man. Now, what's really funny is that the real estate and the realtors in Nevada, they get on they get on their channels all the time saying, "Oh, there's no problem with water. There's no problem with water." Nobody wants to nobody wants to say that there's a problem with water, and it's clearly evident when you see the bathtub ring that there's a problem with water. Bolts are sticking out of the water like pyramids of Egypt everywhere. But realtors just want that money. I want you to buy these homes, man. Five hundred thousand dollars, a hundred, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars over what they're actually worth. But if you're willing to come out of pocket and pay that one one fifty, realtors will tell you, ain't no problems with water. Keep coming, keep keep coming, keep developing. It's a sad story of the city. Such is life, though, right? Anyways, man, I'm gonna close this one out, man. Thanks for following.